Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this on the snow, snow before you go forecast. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons so you know when my latest forecasts are all issued. All right, let me take you into the water vapor satellite imagery and just set the table for you for the next seven days so you understand what the pattern is. So on this, your oranges and red colors are your drier air aloft. The moisture aloft is going to be in the whites and the blues. Big storm system hitting the Pacific Northwest, and it's going to sit here and slowly move into the interior over the next three days. And it will affect the Sierra. It will affect the interior, um, the interior intermountain states. So it's going to have pretty far-reaching effects. Another pretty big storm system behind it. Both of these are players in the forecast. And one of the questions is, Will they send energy through the southern branch? Will that become an active part of this? Will we see lows come up from the south? All of that has to be considered in this forecast. So that takes me into my bullet points here. Storm system 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Pacific Northwest, BC, parts of the Sierra, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. Then the southern track timing question comes in between 1117 and 1120. We may have one to two different areas of low pressure that spin up and move through the southern tier, the four corners, New Mexico, Colorado. That has yet to be seen, but it is a possibility. Um, here are my key dates for best odds of snowfall. The Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior BC. So for example, Interior BC. Um, I'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow accumulation, 1114 to 1115. And then again, heavy accumulation, the afternoon of 11.16 into 11.17. So that's how you would read that. Um, for example, in the, the Tetons, between the afternoon of the 15th and the 16th into the 16th, I'm forecasting moderate accumulations and moderate to heavy, 11.18 and 11.19. So how is that reflected in my spider chart? Well, here it is. Odds of best snow next seven days. More purple, higher on the web, better odds of new snow. You know, that's Jackson Hole, that's Grand Targhee, that's Schweitzer. It's Brundage, it's Big Sky, it's BC, it's the Pacific Northwest. Those are the places that are going to be higher on this spider chart. Those are the places that you would want to focus on. Let me show you what the jet stream is going to look like. So by the time we get into uh, from late Wednesday into Thursday late, this is 11 p.m. Thursday, 11.14, you can see the storm system, the dip in the jet, the trough moving down into California. So it is going to brush um, parts of central and northern California on its way into the interior, and there it goes, and it actually drops some energy right there, 1117 late, over the four corners. This is one of the question marks. Does that turn into an area of low pressure that takes a left-hand turn moving north like a panhandle storm from New Mexico into Colorado? Maybe. There's, it, it may just clip those areas. And then that moves away. Next storm system drops in. Now on the tail end of this one, does it develop into an area of low pressure over Colorado and New Mexico? Don't know yet. And then we're back to some high pressure ridging right here by 1120, 1122, 21, somewhere right in there. Um, here is the forecast radar and satellite. Now this is by Thursday at 5 a.m. This is the way the radar and satellite should look. Your storm system in the Pacific Northwest, snow now building down through parts of Tahoe and Shasta, and snow moving into Idaho and western northwest Montana. By the afternoon hours, there's your view. Next storm system with some energy hits the Sierra, and that will also drop some light accumulations there. Then it moves into the interior through Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, a little bit for Colorado, then it fades. Now look down to the south. That's one area of low pressure that could come up on the southern end. Um, through New Mexico and Colorado. Right now, the timing is a little bit off. You can see it's just barely kind of clipping those areas. Next storm system comes in. By the time we get into 1118 in the afternoon, southern track is gone. Here comes the next storm from the northern tier. That drops into Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. And does it develop into an area of low pressure? We'll have to wait and see. But then we're back to dry conditions by 1121, 1122. All right, here is my snow forecast. So this is all of 1114 through 1120 totals. And so this is dealing with two to three different storm systems and maybe even action on the southern branch. So there is some snow in my forecast for northern New Mexico and southern Colorado. It's not a lot because the timing's off. But the best snow in Colorado is going to be in the central and northern mountains, four to eight inches. Potentially six to eight there through the Wasatch and maybe eight to 16 for the Tetons and Big Sky, Yellowstone throughout this time period. So those are that's one of my, my Tomer's takes. Those, those areas. Um, BC looks good. Schweitzer looks good. Looking at potentially a foot in some of those areas. Maybe one to two, even three feet for parts of Whistler down to Baker, Rainier, and Stevens Pass. 
pretty decent snow there through Oregon and pretty light snow uh, on the docket there for a lot of the Sierra and parts of the California area. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. Take care and have a great day.